Hi guys, welcome back to Red Dog Gaming, where today we are continuing our Julii campaign in the original Rome Total War. Now, last time we somehow managed to take Palmyra, even though we had a horrible battle there to fight. We are literally la down to the last dregs in a few of these armies. We've managed to muster enough forces to push on to Antioch, but it's, it's getting sketchy. Um, so we are recruiting another army up here. Uh, which you can see we're doing, because obviously this army as well, led by uh, Nero Victor, is pretty sketchy as well. You know, not a lot of uh, of troops there. Um, also Palmyra. So I'm hoping Parthia don't attack us. Obviously Armenia have decided to attack us, uh, which we beat them back at Mazaka last time. Now we should have a reasonable enough army, honestly, uh, to take these guys on at some point. Uh, why did I send that guy over? I'm guessing because uh, Vibius is too old. Yeah. Um, we need to keep recruiting in these regions if we can. Okay, we're recruiting uh, early legionary cohorts here, which is good because that's what we need. Uh, early legionary cohorts and cavalry. That's going to be the main thing. It's been a couple of days, so we can kind of reassess how we're doing. Um, Herius isn't quite ready, but we are ready to assault um, Thebes, it looks like. How about Lemonum? You haven't got anything building. I'm assuming everywhere that's not building is because we can't build. Yep, looks like it. As if we built all, all everything in Massalia and uh, looked at them, to be fair. Crazy. Nice. Okay, cool. And how are we doing with this new army? Actually getting close. Getting close. We're now at the point where we can uh, recruit urban cohorts as well, which obviously is amazing. Uh, yeah, we don't have any uh, cavalry really yet though, and we need about six. And then the army up here, how are we doing? Okay, lots of cavalry and archers and a few Praetorians. Could even start bringing that down to just normal uh, cavalry, but no, normal infantry. But I think it'd be better to have Praetorians. They'll they'll lose less troops. They won't be able to be retrained, but they'll lose less troops. So, whereas this army here, we're going to fill it with early legionaries because they're going to come out east and then head north to these horrible, terrible regions up here. So um, we don't really want anything that's too fancy. So let's uh, let's uh, take Thebes. Only got one archer. Hmm. I'm just going to try and use my uh, generals as much as possible. Um. Wait. First of all, okay, good. It's not okay. It's not chariots. I'm pretty sure they don't have chariots yet. But I just wanted to check. Okay. It looks like it's going to be a big cavalry charge. It's desert axemen, who are terrible. Um, and they're not good against cavalry, so so yeah, we'll just uh, we'll knock down the gates and then we will charge all our cavalry into there and hopefully try and surround their general. We'll use our archers, obviously, but as the, they might get killed by the Men, slingers. So let's hear what they have to say. Adversity, a band of brothers dedicated to the warriors' code of strength and victory. But we will never know defeat while we stand together. This day we add another triumph to the history of our people. We will be honored as men. The Pharaoh has sent his servants against us. Do not fear them, for they will be cut down by us, just like other men. They think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. We outnumber them by a large margin. But this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. Our brave horsemen must wait to do their work until a breach has been opened in the enemy defenses. I fought and lost against these men, but it is not something that will happen again. Today, I take my revenge. Today, you taste the fruits of victory. The frizzits. Typo there. The seer has been consulted, but his vision is clouded. Today we make our own destiny then. Now, set your minds on the task to come. Strike hard. Strike without mercy. Cool. I'm trying to think back to when we lost. 
did we auto resolve something or, or what's what's the deal there because I don't remember losing to these guys but I guess uh, I guess we did at some point uh, right Astarte you're the worst so you can go there and these guys can ram a hole in the other side I mean, we don't really want to use any of these. We can use these camels, though, as uh, meat shields, because they are absolutely dreadful. So slow. So unbelievably slow. Look at the pace. That's them running. <laughs> slugs. Literal slugs. Let's bring uh, the cavalry forward, as long as we're not going to get shot. So these archers, because they're the new ones, they should be a they should have a lot more range than the other one, the other guys that we had, the Roman archers. Yep, they look like they can already start firing on the desert axemen, which is awesome. This is also a low, a really oh my god, look how low it is! It's literally six, eight, ten foot high. It's tiny. That volley wasn't the most effective. A lot of them going over their heads. Well, if they uh, walk back here, I'm not going to bother about completely min-maxing it, like use the archers all the way to, to when they're complete, but might as well use them while we can. Then we'll charge in with the cavalry. We are missing a lot of them, honestly. Like, they should be dead by now, basically. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Our soldiers have done their work well. The battering ram right, let's get the... Uh, Get the cavalry in. Show no mercy. The enemy walls are down. It's gonna be a bit of a Make mess, sure but let's do it. Buried beneath the ruins. Great gods! Our soldiers have done well this day. The you walls come are forward. Taken. Awesome, we've made them run already. Uh, right, let's uh Let's get up here. They're gonna, we're gonna get, we're gonna start getting shot by the slingers, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, why are you running the wrong way, please? <laughs> oh, the pathing, the pathing. Shouldn't need anyone else. Just hoping that enough of them can get up here before they charge our general and kill him. They might do, honestly. Come on, why is so many of you just running backwards and stuff? Get there, get there, go on. I don't know whether that's going to help. It looks like it's slightly helped. Alright, let's surround this guy. Let's kill him. He's charged the equites, which is good for us. Now our guys are going around to uh, charge them from behind. Amazing. Good work, General. Where is that General? Make sure he's not going to die. Looks like they're getting absolutely slaughtered. I mean, these uh, Roman Generals now are ridiculously strong. The Roman Army Generals. They are so strong. The enemy General so is dead. His men know their doom approaches. Come on, Camels. You can get in the action. Go kill the Slingers. Right. Charge these guys. I mean, the problem is they're now going to live until, like, the end because we're on the yeah, town square, but we should be able to absolutely slaughter them. 6%, so we did lose a few equities in that, that first initial charge by the general, but not a huge deal. A singular guy left. There we are. Nice one. Victory. So now we have their, their kind of main hub sort of recruitment area, I guess. 189 versus 20 summit. That's good. Like, this is a really nice recruitment hub here because it's three large cities in quick succession. Thebes is a large city as well, so we're going to have to exterminate just like we did with the others. I mean, we tried to enslave Alexandria to start with and it, it just did not work. That's some good lore, but... Let's go with Jupiter. Catapult range, we definitely don't need that. So this is also another good recruitment hub. Um, oh my days, we could get legionary cavalry here. So what are we doing here? We're getting archers and then we 
can get Praetorians. Getting Praetorians here. Um, I think we get legionary cavalry, honestly. Let's get a good. We're getting. We need a good legion up this end, honestly. Really good legion. And it's gonna be. It's gonna be a great legion. To be fair, it's gonna have uh, Praetorians, archers, and legionary cavalry, which is pretty good. There's not a huge amount of buildings here, but it doesn't look like there's a, like many of the chains have been started, honestly. Like that trade has not been started yet. But I guess this city is a recruitment city, so we don't need to worry about that. We just want to get um, Jupiter in there, get them happy. Now, here, there's very little we can do. We are training Roman cavalry. Um, I don't see the point of keeping all these guys because we can't retrain them anyway, so we might as well merge them to know where we're up to. Um, actually, do M? Yep, yeah, nope. Same over here. Yeah, so that's all we have. Like, we don't need these guys anymore. We can carry on with the equites. Um, but obviously we need a full back row again. Which... We should be able to do reasonably soon. And then we will recruit another full uh, full stack army. And then, I mean, it might it's going to be overkill, definitely. But, what, like, we can send one of them to go take this. And then we'll send them north and uh, west, depending on what we need. We also need to fight Parthia as well, which we haven't done yet. Now, this one, have they got siege equipment? Not yet, but there's no chance we're going to get to Hatcher in time. So, we need this Legion to get moving ASAP. General. General. But I guess that's the end of the turn, so let's end it there. Ooh, okay. Honestly... That's kind of dumb from you, it looks like. Uh, you have chariot archers that are reasonably experienced, but there are only 14 of them. These Egyptian chariots obviously always an issue. <laughs> but everything else looks garbage. There isn't much going on here. So our cavalry hordes will uh, once again be able to win us the day, I think. We'll also use our archers to try and take out the... Uh, uh, the cavalry. Now, I'm thinking they won't run away if we destroy this one first because although the strength ratio is in our favour. Why is Amuleus leading? I don't want Amuleus. I wanted uh, Ahenobarbus. Oh well. Let's fight. Uh, I am going to kill that first army straight away rather than wait for them to come in because I don't think they will retreat. I reckon they'll still think they're strong enough with their chariots. So... Let's come. Oh, it's a bridge battle. We face adversity. A okay, that makes it interesting. Dedicated to the warrior's code of strength and victory, but we will never know defeat while we stand together. This day, we add another triumph to the history of our people. We will be honored as men. Today, we march against those necrophiliac monsters, what? the Egyptians. I feel nothing but revulsion for these dangerous people, especially if they are victorious. If we win here today, we do far more than just defeat an army. If we win, we take a city from the enemy. We weaken them. We take their riches, their holy places, their lands, their women folk. But the winning, that is for you to do. Are you men enough for the task? They will try to cross in force. This we cannot allow. They must fail. We'll do it. We are even matched in numbers, man for man. But that does not tell the whole story. Yet, for all that, we are the stronger within ourselves. We are the greater warriors. I have fought these men many times. And even now they must be praying to their false gods for mercy. They will have little enough of it from me. When I set my heart on an attack, I do so knowing that I will win, that my men will win, that victory is within reach. All we need to do is stretch out and grasp the foe firmly by the throat. What we do today, we do as servants of the gods. Ask them for courage and strength. Honor them in your hearts and they will aid us all. Look to your weapons, but also look to the heavens and raise a mighty shout in praise of the gods. Now, to battle! Awesome. What a good speech. So, I'm 
guessing that the enemy are going to be coming from this direction. Yeah, that's where the city is. I mean, you can't see them right now, but... So, let's have a look at this river. Is that only the... Oh my days, is it only the bridge? Because I don't want to get trapped. <laughs> Looks like we're getting trapped. Okay, um, I can't remember what that first army had, but I don't remember it being much. So, we'll send our shock troops across. So, what the tactic we're basically going to use is we're going to try and rush across as fast as we can. Potentially with all the cavalry. Um, that's all the starty. And then we'll follow with the infantry. We can even shoot while we're here. Um, uh, yep, yeah, and we'll get the auxilia can, uh, can be the rear guard. And the Sicilians will go across as well. The enemy have brought up more men. Alright, let's go. What is it? Bowman. Bowman and Desert Axeman. So, trash basically. Trash city. So, if we get across here, we should have a very, very, very good time. Absolutely slaughtering them. So, cavalry first. They're not going to get much of a charge off. Uh, but they're going to just be able to like push through them, probably. They're, they're not spearmen, so there isn't a really an issue with that. Not the greatest tactic in the world, but got a kind of push. Not taking a huge amount of losses either. Actually, you guys go over here, don't want you firing javelins into the back of our troops. Okay, they're running. Get into these guys. Cool. Alright, they're gonna they're gonna run away. Now, I'm guessing this army is not gonna run away, I'm hoping. Also, this bridge will fully nullify their chariots. If we can get across in time. But this huge blob might be. Oh, I don't know. Not great. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened. Is that them all? Running from our men. So we don't really need these cavalry just yet again. The enemy generally slain. And one of the generals dead. Us. It is time to press the attack. Um, right, we'll have the uh, we'll have the spearmen at the front because I'm assuming they'll send the chariots and the cavalry across first. Unless they decide to run away, it doesn't look like they are. Then we'll have the Hastati uh, Principes behind firing javelins. We'll turn them on when we when we need to. Um, and then these guys can come to the side. Anyone, any stray chariots that make it through will have to go through these guys. And we'll also turn their javelins on when we can. Now archers, obviously we want you as close to the front as possible. The Cretans can go further away because they're better. Uh, okay, both of them are kind of damaged, but we'll uh, we'll go here anyway. Sicilians, you can go here. I'm just making sure there isn't any any river crossings here because. If there is, that would be a disaster, but it doesn't look like it. Right, get the general back into place. He needs to he needs to be encouraging the old troops. So yeah, get him back into place and hopefully these guys are gonna set up okay. <laughs> Just okay. But they don't really know what they're doing when there's a bridge, so I am guessing it's just okay. Uh, and yeah. A lot of these a lot of these bridge battles there's not been any other way across, which is kind of interesting. You attacked me, guys, so you need to come and attack us. Yeah, they don't know what they're doing. They're just setting up, I think. Which is stupid, because they all have to go through this bridge anyway. Okay, now they're advancing. Good, 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 good. Uh, they got uh, they got one unit of Pharaoh's Guard. They're the only like reasonable troops that they have. And chariots. And the bodyguard, obviously, General's bodyguard. Now, I'm hoping we can get rid of all of these guys, but I'm not sure we'll be able to just because of the nature of a bridge battle. Like, if we had, if we did have another slipway, we could slip across some cavalry. Maybe we should have left some equites up in the trees up here, but I'm guessing they would have seen it. 
Uh, or even here, but they would have walked through there anyway, so... I don't know. Archers should be firing very soon. Oh, they're firing at the chariots. Awesome. That is really good. And they're absolutely shredding them. And these guys... These guys are slingers, but they're getting shredded as well. That looks like they're only, uh, only missile troops. I've not spread my troops out just because... Oh, 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 play, 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 Jesus. Ooh. Right. Fire at the chariots. No, not the desert axemen. The chariots. Fire at the uh, Egyptian chariots, please. Okay, those routing horsemen will be a massive boon to us because they're going to slow down those chariots. Now we need archers to get into them just, just to get rid of some of their hit points. They've got their cavalry general in here now. Uh, and also, let's javelin, let's javelin who we can. Let's javelin uh, the cavalry general if we can. Wow, that's a lot of bodies. A lot of dead people. A lot of dead people. Don't need to put you on skirmish anymore. I prefer you to be firing, please, if you can. <laughs> oh no, they're general. Kill their general if you can. Where is he? There he is, there he is. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Because if we kill the rest of them, then we've basically won the whole thing. Um, we just need to run down as many troops as we can. Oh my god, come on, Equites. You should be faster than this. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna rally. Go, 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 go. Oh my days, come on. What are you doing, you absolute fools? If you can't kill him now, that's absolutely stupid. Oh my days, just let him walk past you, you idiots. What bloody idiots. So useless. Kill them! There's one. Right, now you should be able to do it because they're running a the different way. Bloody hell. Okay, the Pharaoh's Guard haven't managed to get their uh, thing down. We're also absolutely shredding them with the, the archers, which is awesome. Uh, you guys should get maybe a bit closer just, just to see can do. Just got them now. Yes, there we are. That's good. That should be a mass route very soon. How are those auxilia? The auxilia are doing not too well. We'll send all of these guys in. Oh wow. Let's, uh, let's get chasing them down then. Chase them down. Chase them down. And let's see whether we can get 85% and take the city. Uh, you guys, you guys can stay, you know, you can chill. These auxilia did an amazing job. That is the benefit of having them, but it's such a unique situation. I mean, the starting in the group phase probably would have done an alright job anyway. And then again, of course, if I had, like, if I had Praetorians or something, obviously they would have done a better job anyway, so it's not really, it doesn't really make much difference. Let's get a few people up there uh, killing uh, these Nubian spearmen if we can. Before they escape. How much have we be killed? 96, but you might as well try and get some experience. Um, get rid of those desert axemen. Amuleus already has. It is Amuleus, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Or is it uh, Vibius? I can't remember. Well, it looks like we've got everyone then. Awesome. Good job. Rome demands victory from her generals, and this day is... Yep. Yeah. yeah, we lost... 100... 100 and... Yeah, 180-ish? Oh no, no. Yeah, 180-ish, I think. Uh, and then they, yeah, they're screwed. <laughs> let's look at these auxilia, let's see how they did. Auxilia, 61. They only killed 38, though, but I guess, you know, a lot of that was the 
um, chariots and the general's bodyguard. Where's the other one? Yeah, whoa, they actually didn't kill anything. But I'm guessing that just the morale shock of, of killing the general. Like, morale shock in this game is, is ridiculously good. So, we're taking another one of their big cities. Looks like they just put a spy into Tarsus. Um, let's enslave Antioch, honestly. Now, if we wanted to, we could go up to Hatra there to save it, but it's not even really worth it. And also, you know, Armenia is a secondary, secondary um, problem right now. The main thing is dealing with these Egyptians. Retrain those auxilia. Right, and let's see what we can do. If we merge all the troops, let's see what we have left. Uh, we've got this... Ah... Uh, I shouldn't have done that. I should have deselected the auxilia. Got one equites, so we do need more cavalry. Uh, but I'm thinking we go with maybe a legionary cohort and then a Roman cavalry, and then we'll set off again. Uh, what do we want to do here? This is kind of our recruitment hub up the north end, but shouldn't need a huge amount of recruitment from here anymore. Uh, where's the their um, yeah large temple of set? get Jupiter. Cool. Good. Um, right, up this end. Did we not build? Oh yeah, we did build in Thebes. Cool. Um, mining, not huge. Right, let's go Jupiter, because just to get rid of the corruption that's here, like huge amount of corruption, just using all our money. Um, obviously we need to be still recruiting in these regions. Yep, awesome. And here as well. So faction announcements. Oh, so can just, uh, be... Okay, so we do have so we do have some young generals down here that will definitely uh, be worth it. Now we don't. I don't think we need to send these guys east. We could send this guy to deal with Dacia. Um, I don't know. We've got so many options. I was going to send him down here to deal with Spain, wasn't I? But we already have this guy. But I'm thinking they're going to be okay. There's also a lot of mercenaries around, so... Hmm. Obviously, we have the Legion up here that's going to go. It's basically 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How old is Manius, though? He's 40, but I think he might be able to get that uh, all done. We're the strongest faction now. Good. Still making a lot of money, even though we are recruiting like crazy right now. Okay, make sure these guys are always recruiting. Cool. Uh, looks like we've had an upgrade to the armory as well, so retrain them if we can. Uh, yep. Keep recruiting. We're losing. We're losing population in Aretium, but it doesn't matter because we're already a huge city. Now these guys could do with us like letting the population grow a bit, but we need to recruit first. All right, so let's see what we have here in terms of an army. Uh, I prefer just what this 16-year-old, honestly. But if we move, hmm, do we have any like these quartermasters are good? Tribune of the plebs, no. <laughs> uh, Priest of Jupiter, maybe? Yeah, that gives command. So if we give that to the Secundus Urbic, uh, he's going to have two. Is there any other that gives one command? We've got the Man Master Smith. Mm. Equestrian? No. Quartermaster? Uh, I mean, we have Quartermaster anyway, just because it's good. Um. I mean, we could go for... I think you all have two stars rather than one having one. I'd prefer one to have one. Um, right. Let's stand you out and let's see what we can do here. So, we have all these legionaries. These Praetorians as well. Obviously, they need to be retrained, but uh, we should be okay. So, yeah, pretty big, and then, um, yeah, I, we don't have enough uh, cavalry, do we? No, not yet. 
Um, right, you two need to go back inside here to retrain. Um, yeah, we do want to keep going with the urban cohorts, I think, here. Though we can't recruit the uh, cavalry, can we? It's only these two. I mean, we're going to get cavalry very soon because we are just recruiting from both of these places. Um, there we are. Let's go with that. Yeah, Secundus, you'll get the, the new retinues. So, we need to take Nemantia. So, one legion ready to move out of the home region. Also, nearly got a legion in Elysia. I forgot about Elysia. Which can be led by this guy, who's actually pretty good. We'll have four archers, three, four, five of them. Um, six, seven. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So we do need we do need a few more, but I, we don't really need to wait for a full. Ah, we will. We'll have a couple more cavalry here. Awesome. Uh, right, get rid of that. And see how we're doing on the army down here first. So, yeah, we have three of them. Need four. Oh, we already do have one archer. So yeah. I mean, could do with recruiting infantry here. So yeah, as soon as that's done, get on the Praetorian cohorts, please. Uh, up here, what do we want to do in Antioch? I guess we are training some legionary cohorts. Yeah, and some cavalry. Makes sense. Uh, we'll have to leave behind a couple of people. How about up here? More cavalry? Yeah. This can be the cavalry army that's going to deal with Parthia, so yeah. Also, we don't need to deal with the Hatra right now. Okay, that's some of those guys. One, two, three, four, five. You need to get in there. This would be nice if we could recruit some better infantry from here, honestly, but. We can't. <laughs> How about Tarsus? No, we can't either. Why has Tarsus got a bit upset? Okay, do that. Right, now we've dealt with all of that, apart from you, which, yeah, it looks like you're going to be pretty ready soon. Once those guys are done, recruit. Hmm. Also, we need to look at where our fleets are, because we need to move our whole fleets around. Um, I know we've got one up here. We were recruiting one in Greece. Ready to sail. Set sail. You go in there. Ready to sail. I bet there's going to be an admiral that won't fit into this group. Oh no! Awesome. Ready to sail. I Can you clear victory? Amazing. He's not going to go in. Oh, awesome. Right, so we've got this navy. Uh, we've got these guys. So these guys can ferry any of the... Oh, we have... Ugh. I mean, the, the, the pointless troops. They can just go and scout. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've got that, arm, that navy up there to, to ferry any troops around. Now this one, let's bring it across to Carthage. So we got one to ferry the legion this side. We were gonna we put it on this side because we were gonna ferry it across to the east, but I don't think we need it now. In the east, but we'll leave it there. Hmm, actually, Ready to sail. let's bring it round because we're not gonna go east. If if we go east, we we can just march there. It doesn't matter. General. These guys. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but let's, uh, <laughs> we spent a few minutes just, just looking over the uh, armies. Let's attack this last Gallic settlement. It should be the last one, and it should be pretty easy. We have a couple of archers. We're going to use our mercenaries where we can. Probably just charge in with the cavalry, uh, although the warband. Mm. Oh, well. Kill them with the archers as much as possible. Shouldn't be too long, we'll, we'll speed it up, but well, let's hear what he has to say, because it should be a good speech, because this guy's a victor as well, I'm pretty sure. Lots of victors about, which makes us hugely popular with the people. 
A battle's never an easy thing to face, especially before breakfast. But think on this. They feel at least as bad and don't have me to give them victory. Today we go into battle against the Gauls, warriors both worthy and brave in equal measure. They stand alone. No friend has come to this place to die for them. Does this not say something about their honor? They're standing among nations? This is the end of the road. This is the last battle. The enemy have nowhere left to run. They must hold us here, or like so many ghosts, vanish away utterly. So let us take up our arms one last time, sharpen the sword, and make ready. This will be the day of their final, lasting defeat. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall, as if that will protect them. The count of our warriors will show you who is truly favored by the gods. It is not our foes. Until the enemy walls crumble, our brave horsemen can do little. Let us breach those walls and hunt down the enemy. Yes. Many times I have faced these people, and still they are too stupid to learn their lesson. Today, men will die to teach them afresh that they should simply run away! I mean, they couldn't, but... Fair enough. The portents are bad, my friends. But I do not care. I know that I have brave men at my back, and only the enemy in front of me. So, let your battle cry be, victory! Victory and glory to Rome! Cool. Well, I mean, <laughs> pretty epic speech for very little that's going to actually happen in this battle. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, we'll leave these uh, rams up here just in case one of them gets burnt or something. It looks like they've got the most basic walls rather than the, uh, the ones that have towers on, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Let's group the Astarte together. You all come here. Let's get the uh, archers together. And then we have all the cavalry. Nice. And in a row. Um, I will... We will send the cavalry in. I mean, with these uh, barbarian settlements as well, you have a lot more leeway in terms of movement. Ah, yeah, we're Roman archers at the minute, not uh, auxiliary archers. So they are really, really bad. Comparative, anyway. <laughs> you guys come here. Uh, I don't know what to do with the Hastati. I, I think we might just send in the Spanish mercenaries. Don't really need the Hastati, I don't think. Like, can you not reach there, or like, what's the deal? I guess they are behind the wall, but can you not like fire over the wall, like up in a massive arc? They're doing war cry, it seems like. Oh, my days is that. No way. Who are we getting shot at? Ah, this. Our soldiers are at the walls! Now they must batter away through. Nope, they still can't fire. Useless! So useless. Get away from that. These guys can fire at will though. This is the war band, so once this is dead, we can just charge the rest of the cavalry in. Their work well. The battering ram has broken through the gate. Okay, now they can fire because they're not next to the wall anymore. Cool. You go there. Yep, yeah, once that's down, we'll send in the uh triumphs once more! The walls are down! Order your men on to victory! Cavalry can start Great moving God. forwards. Our soldiers have done well this day. The walls are taken! No, the war band are running away. Who are they firing at? I don't want to just house firing at people. Right. Send the Spanish mercenaries up here. If they get charged by the uh, general, doesn't matter, honestly. Uh, they are just mercenaries, so... Do we want to send them around that way? To be fair, probably. And we'll send all these guys around here. Charge them from the other side. Oh, actually... 
Let's all charge. Let's all charge the general while we can. Get rid of him. Probably make everyone else break. The yeah. enemy king is fleeing. This is truly a great day for Rome. The enemy yeah, general's king dead. Has been it should just be. Uh, it should just be a routine job here now. Yeah. Not hugely efficient, but he <laughs> got the job done quickly. Yeah. Not great. But that is the end of Gaul. So we have no enemies left around here. Now I'm thinking we go up to this what like Spain. Well, honestly, Spain probably will attack us very soon anyway. Still uh, red. Uh, public order, even though we just did that. Great missile weapons. Hmm. Also, what do we want to start recruiting here? Probably we want to start replacing. I mean, the cavalry is so experienced, it's so annoying. But we need to start replacing them with Roman cavalry anyway. Cool. So I think we'll do the building, and then that will be the end of this episode. So let's have a look at what we need to build in Batavium. Hmm. Probably go for the market. It does not add a huge amount, but it will build up over time, especially when it becomes a huge city. Right, Sparta. Uh, just for happiness, let's start getting arenas everywhere, just in case the happiness slips in a few places. Uh, Carthage, of course, we want to get... We already can get Praetorian, so... Yeah, I, I don't think we need any more military stuff over there because we'll be a long way away from there soon with our army once it's built. Massalia, yep, yeah, we've got a lot of these terrible little towns. Halicarnassus is unhappy. Let's make them happy. Cyrene, yeah, we've got so many of these tiny little towns now, so... Probably need to get some governors in them at some point uh, and start enslaving a few people. Right, Alexandria. Uh, let's go for the market so we can get the next armor upgrade. Also, yeah. Uh, Lamonum. Yeah, cool. And Numantia. What were we going to build? We we're going to delete this and build Jupiter. And retrain these guys. Still, I think, apparently you can still retrain them? I don't know. <laughs> um, right, let's see what we can do with this army, whether we can even leave. Actually, first things first is the cavalry. Oh, no, they can't move, because it's this turn. But that's going to be the end of this episode, guys, so thank you very much for watching, and hopefully I should see you again on the next episode.